welcome back and I'm doing a pajamas update because I can so <clears throat> this is that weekend that I've been looking forward to yet dreading the entire time today was the day I had to say see you later to my best friend for 28 years um, <clears throat> She's always been within an hour away from me, except for when I lived in Jersey, and then she was only three hours away. So this is a big difference. This is like eight hours, and it's... I don't know why. I just posted on Facebook that I don't know why this is hitting me as hard as it is, because two of my best friends are in Wisconsin and North Carolina. Another really great friend is in South Carolina. Another really good friend is in California. <clears throat> I have family in Colorado, North Carolina, Massachusetts. Like, I have family everywhere. So it's like I'm used to this. But for some reason, it's like my best friend is leaving me. And, oh, it just was so heartbreaking. And we took lots of pictures. And <clears throat> we already have plans of going down next summer. Um, I told her I'd give her some money to, you know, stay there. And uh, can't wait till next summer. But... <clears throat> On the flip side of all that, <clears throat> tomorrow is my cousin's wedding. I'm super excited about that. Um, her dad was one of my favorite cousins for forever. I had a small crush on him when I was young. Um, he taught me at 12 how to make Manhattan and um, a, a whiskey sour. Yeah. Um, but he was he was just my favorite cousin. Every time he saw me, he called me beautiful. He, when I got married the first time, he was like, what are you doing with a fool like that? And, you know, he was, he never sugarcoated anything. He was always honest with me. And I just, I loved him. <clears throat> Unfortunately, he passed away very suddenly about four years ago, I think it is. Three or four years ago of a massive heart attack. Um, he was only 63, 64. So it's, it's going to be hard tomorrow because she has a heart that she cut out of a shirt of his and she has it on her dress which is going to be emotional like there's a lot of things that they're incorporating to have her dad there and excuse me it's going to be very emotional but very happy at the same time so I'm looking forward to that plus it's a night away my husband and I are going to spend time alone together and dancing he promised me <clears throat> and then we also get to see my my other bestie, I always call her my at-home bestie, because she lives up the hill from me. Um, <clears throat> and I haven't seen her for a year, so I get to see her and her baby bump, and her daughter, and her husband, and that's exciting. So we get to see them for a little bit tomorrow. And then my bestie from Wisconsin is coming home this coming week, so yay! So in the hmm of missing my best friend, my other friends are going to be here, and it's going to be nice. So, yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, it's, <sighs> she's been my backbone, she has been my best friend, I'm gonna cry, been my best friend through it all, when my grandmother died, she was there, when I got married, she was there, <clears throat> when my stepdad died, she dropped everything, and, and was there, and, uh, like, She's just been the best friend, and I, I can't. <sighs> we've been through it all. Like we've been best friends, and and well, I don't want to say enemies because we never really had a fight. We just kind of got on each other's nerves and stopped talking for a while. But then we always come back, and it's like time stopped. It's it's neat. Her and I have that friendship that <clears throat> it doesn't matter how long we've gone without talking. We just pick right back up, and. Um, so I just, I wish her all of the happiness in the world. Um, I think this is a positive thing for her and her family. And I just pray that God protects them all traveling tomorrow and that it's, it's an easy move and that their son is happy at the school and they find really awesome jobs. And just, I just wish nothing but the happiness and the best that life has to offer them. <clears throat> so, and yes, I'm losing my voice. Yay! Um, <clears throat> yeah, great. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to say that it's going to be a new, it's going to be different, but I'm so thankful at the same time 
that we have Facebook, we have Skype, we have email, we have phones, you know, if this was like 15, 20 years ago, even maybe even 10 years ago at this point, I, I we would have to call each other long distance. There was no such thing as the, um, you know, totally free phone calls and stuff. So very thankful for all that. So we can definitely keep in contact with each other. And, um, so on my face, I don't have a lot. <clears throat> I have the Jordana, uh, rose silk blush powder. This looks like this. I think I showed this. I've showed it. I'm sure I've showed it a million or two times. It's very finely milled. It's just such a pretty neutral pink color. Um, these are like $2.99 and I love them. On my eyes, I have the Victoria Jackson Cosmetics red eyeshadow, but it's definitely not red. They're all purples. I have this in my crease and I have this on my lid. <clears throat> so those are those, those are those, those are, yeah. On my lips, I have the e.l.f. matte lip color in natural. This is the color I've said a million or two times that I did not like. But for some reason, the neutral lip I kind of like, and I like I like this formula. It's not my favorite. My favorite has got to be the Fergie Wet n Wild Velvet lip. Um, I'll swatch this next to it. It's just so much smoother. But they're both really awesome products. And then over top of it, I just have that generic lip gloss that I love all the time. So that's it. That is what I have on my face. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. So um, I'm going to probably work on my um, my website and such. And I'll have pictures there of me and my bestie. And my mom and my daughter and my bestie as well. And yeah. So if you get to spend time like every day with your bestie, hug them and let them know how much you love them. Because... It's hard, man. And yes, this is my onesie pajama. It has the little heart detail and whatever. Um, or heart. It's a star. It really is. Wow. Um, so yeah, it's fleece and it's a footy jammy and it has a little kangaroo pocket, which I love. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to try to do some video tomorrow at the wedding. Um, we'll see how that goes. I keep wanting to jump on the bandwagon for vlogging, and I keep starting and stopping and starting and stopping, and I've got to figure out what to do. I have this camera, this vloggy camera, um, which just plugs right into my USB port, but I can't seem to find the stinking charger. So, let's see, it just, I don't think, oh, maybe I can. No. I was going to say, I don't know if I can. Maybe I can just put it on my computer and do it that way. So I have that, and I also have, I have, I really do. Maybe I don't. Well, I have another camera. I just don't know where it's at. Anywho, so I'm going to try to start vlogging a little bit more. So anyway, this is long enough. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.